So I'm here in Colchester at the Art Centre. I've just nipped up the A12, and look who it is! It's Sam and Mark. Hello. Hello. How are we doing? How are you? Well, very well, thank you. Well. How are you? Yeah. I'm very good. Mark, you're very sweaty. Oh, <laughs> mate. Like seriously, I do so much running, uh, running about in this show that we do. So yeah, yeah I, I, and we do a meet and greet after the show, and I feel awful because I, I just have a towel in photos constantly, like just wiping my brow. It's awful. Do you remember Rick Mail in Bottom? Yes. Max Rick Mail. Yeah. Very sweaty man. Yeah. Just Very con sweaty man. Constantly sweaty. <laughs> like, I'm so sorry for the people who actually, you know, queued up. So you're here in Colchester with your latest show. Can you tell us a bit about it? Yeah, so it's called Sam and Mark's On The Road Show and it's basically, it's a family fun game show that we've developed. Uh, we used to do it a lot at like park resorts and butlins and things like that and then the opportunity came uh, early this year for us to take it out on our own tour, which was very terrifying. It was terrifying because we were asking people to actually pay for tickets to actually watch us. You know, because <laughs> at butlins and stuff like that, they're always a captive audience, so you're not actually asking them to pay the hard earned money, so we, we were a bit we were a bit nervous, but like Colchester today has been absolutely fantastic, it's been one of our favourite gigs. So. Good, where are you off to next? Uh, we are Wellingborough next, and then Maidstone, uh, and then we're going on some cruises for a little while. Oh, fancy. I know, and then yeah. we're back, as soon as we come off the cruise, we're back uh, on to, uh, yeah, we're in the Midlands, we're kind of up and down the country until the sort of end of August. Where can, our, where can people find out the details? Uh, if you go to socomedy.co.uk, all the details are there if you click on the Sam and Mark page and obviously our social medias, we're just Sam and Mark TV on all social medias and we're, we're constantly banging on about it. So. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> Sorry. So you didn't start off as TV presenters back in 2003, yeah. was it yeah. Pop Idol? Yeah, we were on Pop Idol, yeah, we were on a singing competition against each other. It's um, like the X Factor, but, but better. back a bit. <laughs> yeah. Do you know, it's weird though, because so many people have just forgotten Pop Idol. They, mm. they knew that we were on a talent show, they all just go, oh, I voted for you when you were on X Factor, and it's like, no, no, Pop no, you Idol. Didn't. No, you didn't. <laughs> um, Do you remember much yeah. about it? Oh, it's weird, because... No, I don't actually. You have like little snippets in your brain. You go, and obviously you've got it on video, VHS. That's, that's your dad's. Wow, uh, wasn't that long ago? Yeah, no, yeah, it feels it. Um, but yeah, it was it was an incredible time of our lives, um, and yeah, it was it was kind of like the catalyst to what we're doing now. So we we, we absolutely loved that experience, but it's it's you know kind of not what we wanted to do. Was yeah, it was we weird. Yeah, we fell into presenting by complete accident, but it was definitely the right route yeah. to go for us. We've loved it, and we, we would not have still been around if we'd have carried on on the singing point of view. You know, no. we just... Uh, we well, would have been around. around. Yeah, we'd have been around, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's, not, it's not on the telly. I would like to think we would have been around. Well, you never know. <laughs> so, what has been your favourite show that you've filmed over your whole career so far? Done wow. so, we've been so lucky. I think probably the most popular one that we all, that loads of people talk to us about is Junior Bake Off. Yeah. We were, when we got that gig, we, it was a bit like a dream gig. Yeah. We basically used to watch what Mel and Sue would do on Bake Off, and we thought, you know what, we could do that. That funny links to camera, eating cake, chatting to kids. What's you know, not to love? What's not oh, to love? So, uh, filming that show, putting a stone. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so when we landed that gig, that's been definitely a, a one for me. And a TMI, we did a Saturday morning that show. That was very TMI. good, I remember thank that. Oh, thank you. We loved that. And that was live as well. There's yeah. not much live TV about these days. Um, probably Big Friday Wind Up for me, because uh, we did that for eight years. Yeah. The long goal. Are you going to do more of that? No, we're actually, we're bringing Cracker Jack back. Um, which went like for like 30 odd years um, until like, 1986 but they're, they're bringing it back and they've very kindly asked us to uh, present it so yeah we're filming that in October and uh, it should be on your TV screens in January I yeah. believe. So but Wind Up's kind of been rested in place of Cracker Jack now because it's, it's obviously a similar sort of entertainment format so we thought we'd, we'd rest uh, Wind Up and it may come back but we'll see how Cracker Jack does I suppose yeah, and if, exactly, if that takes yeah. off then maybe we'll just carry on doing that. So, um, what do you remember from your childhood? So, of course, your kids' TV presenters. What was your favourite kids' TV show back in the day? Mine was it was SMTV Live with Anthony Depp. You oh, know, he's gone on the other channel. I've gone folks. on the other channel. I know. He's <laughs> <laughs> gone off BBC. Don't worry, steady don't, worry, don't, don't worry. I'll bring it back. Don't bring it. Back. <laughs> it was though. I loved it. It was. It's that thing that we've always kind of tried. To, when like my dad used to love watching. Yeah. 
SMTV Live as well. So like, it was always, that kind of thing. It was for the kids, but it was also for the adults. Exactly, and that's what we've always tried to do. What we've done with this touring show, we want to make sure that mums and dads can enjoy it just as much as kids. Yeah, it's such an important thing. Yeah, uh, going live for me. I'm showing my age a little bit. Oh, Philip Schofield, yeah, Sarah Green. Absolutely. <laughs> Used to get up in the morning, watch Muppet Babies, <laughs> and then uh, get my cereal out and sit in front of the uh, the TV and put BBC One on with. Uh, yeah, as you say, Philip Schofield, Sarah Green. He's back on brand. Is he? <laughs> I ain't daft, I like my job. So. so finally, what advice would you give to people listening to this, watching this, who uh, want to have a career in telly? Be nice to every single person that you ever, ever meet and come across yeah. with, work with, you know, just interact with. It's so important, you know, we, you know. It's very cliche, but it's true. It's it, really like, it really, really will help you in the long run. That there's nothing, nothing worse than not being a very nice person. We'd rather be known for being nice than actually good at our jobs, which is good actually. <laughs> <laughs> but it's true, like if you and also if you, it's the, when you're working in TV as well, the banter that you can have with everyone working on the studio floor—that's the favourite bit of my job. We have such a laugh, and they like become friends. And if that, if you're doing that sort of behind the scenes, I think it shows on camera as well that everyone's having a laugh and everyone gets on, and it's so important. Thank you, Sam and Mark, you've been marvellous. Thank you very much. Cheers, man. Thank you. Thank you. Much appreciated.